Good afternoon. I had a uh, good day. The uh, Echo weed eater was working good, so I was able to get through my lawns a couple hours early. And now I'm changing the spindle bearing on the uh, on the 72. So let me get started on that. So we're, we're changing out the spindle bearings. Let me get it going on that. So I released the belt tension with a chain. I undid the top bolt and I did the undid those two things. You shouldn't have to do it that hard. I don't know what's going on there. Now that that bolt's bent, you want to make sure you got enough thread in there, though, that you don't run the threads. You get another bolt.
so this is not normal. You, you, you never have to bound them like this. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> bearings are off it's it's a mess this the shaft has a damn burr on it from uh the set screws on the pulleys i've never had to run them set screws on them pulleys before until i got these spindles from china but if i don't run the set screws on them now they wobble back and forth and eat the thing up so where these set screws were going onto that spindle shaft it's causing a burr which is causing it to have a hard time getting all that stuff apart. So I got a real mess going. Because as hard as it is to get the old ones off, it's, it's gonna be hard to get the new ones on. And the difference is, when you're putting the new ones on, you gotta be gentle because you don't wanna ruin them. take the you gotta take dust seal out on the bottom so that when you grease it the grease can get into it easily And this sleeve, that makes it so you don't have to grease all the way around there because it stacks against the bearings. So the sleeve stacks on there. That way when you're greasing, the greaser will be over here, push this grease down where I'm about to take this seal off and push this grease up. got the sleeve on there the new bearing with the there's a lip on it the lip goes down on the bottom and, the, and it goes up on the top on the top bearing
sure you put the key in there in the pulley. When I let the mower down, I had a block underneath there that's holding it up right now. Otherwise, that spindle shaft and everything would be trying to pull down. And then the next step is I gotta find a new bolt because I bent the hell out of that one trying to get that apart. All right, that took me no time because I keep a bucket that's nothing but hardware for hustlers. So, you can go in there and you can get a bolt or one of these fat washers for the top of these spindles in no time. There's only about six or eight or ten bolts on these mowers, different sizes. See, you shouldn't have to use these nearly like this, these Allen keys, these set screws, but these were Asian spindles and they ain't worth a damn. If you don't, they waller back and forth. And that's why I had trouble getting the bearings off, because where these were tightened down, it puts a burr on the shaft. And obviously you tighten this bolt first, because that draws it all together. Then you lock it down with your set screws. And then one of the nicest things Hustler ever did was the way you re redo this belt. Just pull this chain. It tensions, tensions the belt. That's it. Some of these lines. It'd be nice to take just one thing out of each mower brand and make the ultimate mower. And I like the way Hustler did the tensioning on this belt. All right, that's how you do the spindle bearing. Have a good one.